If you had to name which Australian won a Grammy this year, who would you guess? Probably not Fiona Joy. Hers isn't exactly a household name, but the pianist and composer did write a song on a Grammy-winning album for 2015. Jeannie Stein has her story. How do you, um, some people may say, how do you go live in a small town like Kendall and stay sane? Because it's quiet and I love that. I mean, we have chickens crossing the main street here. This is a really quiet place. There's 830 people live here. And to me, that's perfect because it's, it's quiet. I'm in my own world. To write music, you know, I, I, can, I can go where I need to go and do what I need to do in my own space without traffic and people. And I love it. Born in 1839, so that, and he died in 1882. So I'm going to guess, yeah, that that makes him 43 years old. Yeah, people didn't live so long back then, huh? So I'm going to say that this um, little bit of poetry here is by Henry Kendall, and it says, if I can read it, through breaks of the cedar and sycamore bowers, struggles the light that is love to the flowers. Long way to I haven't done any vocal warm-ups. Mm, can you hear that? Yes, you can. Mm. What's the terminology? We're discussing it. A new age. Oh, yes, yes, new age. Oh, Are yeah. you new age? Um, it depends um, which country I'm in. <laughs> in Australia? No, I'm neoclassical in Australia. Why? Because Australia d doesn't understand New Age. They, they kind of have this idea that, that it's elevator music or whale music or something. What is so special about this piano? Uh, it's very special, not only because it's Australian made, but because of the tuning system. There's no bend in the decay of a note. So the theory is that, that as a note decays and goes off into the distance, that it will follow the tuning peg. And in this case, it just keeps going round and round and round. So you get these incredible long harmonics. It's four pedals. It's 102 keys. It's unique clarity of tone and sustaining qualities. When I first sat down at it, I, what I realised was it had a very sort of big sound and that I really had to work hard technically to tame it. Because you've, you've really got to be very careful with your pedalling because with that many harmonics, if you don't pedal well, then, then your chords will carry across. So you've really, um, you've really got to work a little bit harder, but it's just, the sound was just so stunning. I fell madly in love with it and I was determined. I spent days mastering the pedalling and mastering how to, how to play it and how to make it work. Um, it's music that's very spiritually centred. It's music that, that comes from, from a place. It's, it's about subject matter. It's conceptually derived. You're telling stories. It's very um, cinematic, really. It's, it's putting... It's synchronicity. The scary bit is just before you go on. The fantastic bit's when you're finished. <laughs> But no, it's, I shouldn't say that because I love performing, I love sharing with an audience, um, I love taking them on a journey. Not every day that people up there open up their houses and artists would do that. Why? Because I have an amazing piano, it's a Stuart & Sons 97 key concert grand and I just feel like it would be a shame to have something that amazing and have it hidden away in Kendall and not share it with people. So I record on it and, and I have house concerts so that people can come and listen to it. this woman from afar for years and she started having these house concerts and to me one of the most wonderful things of living in Kendall is this is two minutes from my house and it's some of the best music I've ever heard from the heart she plays and composes from her soul. Fiona's music may belong to the world but she belongs to us.